So I didn't have a good sleep. I had too good of a sleep. To keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas. I need to take these off. This is starting to come off. But it's been on for six days. Spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. I did these last Friday for graduation, and today is the first day of December. So, this is on the agenda today, but after I wake up. As long as I spend this day with you, mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Making plans for what we're gonna do. I feel so blessed that I can be with you. Cause God knows that I've been longing for you. Yeah, I just wanna hold you close. You know the stars are shining just for you. Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon. Not till we reach a place we could stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away. And in a while, we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. All I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Are you ready for a wash? Are you ready for a bath? Are you ready for a little shower? Okay, let's do this. Okay, gentle puppy. project uh, that is to organize the garage or the storage and because we don't have a garage in this apartment we have got a storage shelving unit in the garage or in the car space downstairs which is apparently against body corporate bylaws so we need to move it so I've ordered a little storage thing here and we are just going to rehome those two chairs rehome that IKEA uh, Kallax unit and make space for the outdoor storage unit so that is that dismantled it was completely trashed it was so wobbly from moving it could not even have been given away so i've just dismantled that and that is going to have to go in the bin then i've also just broken down the christmas tree outer box and i'm just going to keep the inside bag for the christmas tree because that's going to be going under my bed hopefully for storage when it comes down. As for the rest of the Christmas decorations, they're gonna to have to come out of these outer boxes 
and just have the inner boxes and then just the inner boxes are going to go in a storage box and then go under my bed all right so we have pretty much finished the kitchen i think it's only taken a month since i've been here but i have rearranged it about 455 times not even exaggerating and i know i said when i moved in i didn't want to have a super cluttered workspace but at the moment this is the best i can do and i'm not really fussed about it because these are the things that we genuinely use every single day like we use these every day multiple times a day we use this at least once a day these are all the things that oh, get out fruit fly these are all the things that we snack on every day oats and protein powder if not every day at least every second day but pretty much every day just some cooking things in the back okay bay leaves we don't use every day uh but i have a salt up there in one of those so i could switch that out for that but these are things that we use multiple times a week every day absolutely every day this is where we've got our bread and things so every day or well, definitely every day that the kids are here because i use it for school lunches and things coffee machine definitely every day and kettle of course every day these things you just can't kind of get away with so with the size of the pantry i would either have to change the containers from canisters like my glass canisters to the plastic containers that i've got which honestly, I'm not really sure that I want to do because I do love the glass canisters. I'm just going to, I'm just going to shut that door actually. Hang on a second because it's a bit loud with that person mowing. He finished mowing and I can't remember what I was up to, but I think I was talking about these. So I bought some new covers for the boys quilts for their bed in the Black Friday sale from H&M. I bought these in a different color and then I took them back and switched them for gray because I bought a taupey kind of color. And then realized it wouldn't match their bottom sheets, the fitted sheets and the pillowcases that I bought recently. So I switched it for grey because Jake said he's happy with grey anyway. And it is just a little bit more plain uh, to get rid of the stars that Jake has been asking to get rid of for a while now. And I just couldn't find any that were like just nice neutral plain. They don't like patterns. They don't like bright colors. So I know people say, oh, it's so boring. You always choose the like neutral colors. Why don't you pick something more bright? My kids don't want bright colors. They are not, you know, four and five years old. They're tween and teens. So they go for the colors and I get the colors that they want. Anyway, I also picked these up from Ikea a little while ago just to switch out some more reusable napkins because we have been using some, but they're really big and they're sort of stiff. Uh, and no matter how much we wash them, they're not softening up. So these ones are smaller, thinner, and a little bit like nicer feeling, I guess. Um, and I really like this kind of cool toned eucalyptusy green. I don't know if that's coming across on the camera, but it is kind of similar to the IKEA artificial plant there. Um, so that kind of cool toned eucalyptusy green, which I'm kind of vibing at the moment. And I think it will match nicely with our little Christmassy decor kind of table setup which I don't think we're going to use anywhere. I think we're going to have our Christmas outside um, if it ever stops raining. Andrew was open. I think I was mentioning about how I didn't want to switch out the canisters for plastic containers unless it's absolutely, absolutely, absolutely necessary. It's just an awkward shaped pantry. It's not super wide and it's kind of medium deep. The annoying thing about this pantry is They've made it a different depth to the storage cupboards over there. So the storage cupboards over there, which are, you'd think they're the exact same. Those ones over there are deeper. So you can fit those rolling organizers that I use all the time. The ones that I get from Kmart, the rolling divided organizers. They don't fit in here because they have put the back of the cabinet further forward, which is mighty annoying because this would have been awesome to just rack and stack with those Kmart divided organizers because you can honestly just store so 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 much and you can even use them with these stacked like sideways in them and use it as a drawer to pull out but unfortunately 
the organizing gods were not in our favor because this is just a little bit too shallow but I mean I'm kind of liking how the things are set up at the moment we've just got a little back stock kind of random collection of things down here which is kind of super convenient anyway it's just one of these IKEA storage organizers and it's just got a bit of a mishmash of all the different things that um, we've got in here or oh, that should be my little coffee stash actually then we have a lazy Susan which I am absolutely digging because it just fits so perfectly with this Variera shelf from Ikea. So this is from Kmart. Uh, it's either from Kmart or Howard Storage World, but they are literally the exact same thing. This one, oh, I steamed that or something. I'm not sure what I did with that. This one is the Divided um, Lazy Susan, and it's just got some spreads and kind of breakfasty things. I just popped some coffee in there because I um, wanted to balance it out. I think I was filming an Instagram reel. Then we have the Target storage containers. And these are just modular, clear, super minimal. Uh, and I've had these for many, many years now. So I had these in the, not my last apartment, but the apartment before. So the super high rise that we used to live in. And I had a pull out pantry and I bought those to fit exactly in that pull out pantry. And these have lasted so, so well. I think I bought this one recently uh, just to be tall enough to hold spaghetti. And I think the only thing that I might do is switch out some of the smaller ones, which I cracked because I put in the freezer to get rid of pantry moths. Um, switch out some of the smaller ones for maybe some bigger ones. So then it fits a box of cereal, like a full box of cereal. Like usually when I put cereal in these, you fill it up, but then there's always a little bit left over. But if I switch them out for that one, then it will maybe fit a bigger box of cereal. Then up on the next shelf, we just have these Kmart canisters, again on a Kmart Lazy Susan. And because they're not see-through and I don't want to, well, you can't really label this kind of thing anyway. I've just used a chalk marker to put what's in them. So that one's got mint tea, oh, that one's got matcha, I didn't, I wrote it really, Unco and I have to redo it. That one's got mixed, different mixed herbal teas. We have got regular loose leaf tea and we've got coffee and back at the start. So that's a nice way to know what's inside non see through canisters if you can't label them or if you don't want to label them. And then up there, we just have the two Howard Storage World Mimi containers, and that's just got back stock at the moment. And when I go shopping eventually, that one will just have things like you know, big bags of chips or popcorn or things like that, which are light and easy, either light and easy to pull down easily, or that is just back stock that you don't need to get up and into all the time. So you just pack it up, stock it with all your back stock, and then it just sits there until you've run out and you need to refill. So that is the pantry. And I'm loving how it is. Then beside the fridge, this is turning into a kitchen tour. Beside the fridge, I've still got this, and this has got sort of more, less frequently used ingredients, but ingredients that I'm gonna keep and use at some point anyway. So it's got all like baking supplies. So chopped chips, hundreds and thousands. It's got some polenta. Uh, I think it's got like nutritional yeast. And then down the bottom, it's just got like cocoa and desiccated coconut, cinnamon, and things like that. And then here it's just got some taller items that don't have anywhere to go, like some cordials and things. And then all of my long straws. I'll show you the fridge another time because it's pretty empty at the moment. It's just me here for the week. Although I think Riley's coming home tonight for some random reason. Um, kids have got like end of year school things on, so kids are coming and going all different times. Um, and then just here again, I just have everything that we use on um, pretty much on a daily basis. And since we've gone this far, I may as well just show you the rest. So in here, we've got the frequently used pans, which honestly, I only use three. So usually the big, it's in the dishwasher at the moment, the big shallow pan is in there. And then just on top of that, I have a small fry pan and a small pot, and then just a strainer that folds up. Then up the top, I need a step stool to get it, but they're the ones that I don't really use super often and not often enough to need to be down in easy reach. Ooh. 
Above the stove, I've just got two Lazy Susans and I've just got all of my cooking type ingredients. I don't have my glasses on. I hope this is in focus. <laughs> um, so we've got just things like salt and pepper, some paprika, some kitchen towel, uh, it's rice bran oil and then just some oil spray and then just like vinegars, sauces, seasonings, all those kind of things that you use to cook with that you want to be close at hand when you're cooking. And then up there I've just got my cast iron pot and some baking trays. Okay, oh my arms are killing. In here we just have another stacked to the max we want to make the most of all the storage space we've got drinking glasses so we have kind of downsized to just one sort of size of drinking glasses then we have another lazy susan that's got all of my coffee mugs so i have got just enough to exactly fit this again somewhere in the dishwasher and i've got some coffee cups if i want to have a piccolo latte and then all the tea and kind of gravy boat sort of things or sauce dishes um and then some cold drink pitchers, jugs, whatever you want to call it, up there. Now down under the stove, we have got two banks of drawers. So one bank of drawers on either side. May as well just start here. I don't like having this here. It's kind of handy, but it's kind of annoying when you want to open this drawer. You've got to take it off. So here we've just got utensils and the knife rack. Again, some of the things are in the dishwasher. Then just some storage organizers for some more frequently used kitchen bits and pieces. I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. Then in here we just have utensils. I think the kids have emptied the dishwasher because I haven't really put it back exactly how I like it. But anyway, it's just pretty much a utensil drawer and it's just nicely separated without having too much stuff and a knife sharpener. Now down the bottom, this is a bit of a mishmash drawer and this is just today that I have put things in here like this. Um, before this today, what did I have in there? Oh my goodness, I can't even think about what I had in there. I did have all of the containers. I had all of these containers. I had all these containers for a while stacked up in there. Um... But I switched that out because it wasn't super, super convenient. So this is just at the moment. So we've got some potatoes and onions. We've got some puppy dog emergency stuff. Some um, reusable napkins. These are the ones I was saying were a bit stiff. And then just some canisters. Uh, under the oven, there's just some baking trays. Nothing too exciting. And then in this side, I've got... Ooh, our spice drawer so I used to have the spices all set up on a tiered uh, shelf in the pantry but I just thought it was taking up too much too much pantry space so I popped them into this bamboo drawer organizer sorry for the shadows I don't have any lights filming lights out and then I just pop them sideways honestly it's not super ideal and I think I will eventually switch these out for some maybe like some Kilner style flip top glass jars which have a see-through lid and then they can sit up in the drawer here because these are they're not hard to get out they're honestly just a little bit hard especially if you've got like cooking hands they're a little bit hard to open sometimes so I think the little Kilner the little Kilner flip top ones which I've seen on Gordon Ramsay's cooking channel which I've been obsessed with lately um might go nicely in here and then I've just got some for this one's got some sugar in it. So if I'm making a tea, I don't have sugar in my coffee. It's just right here. And then we've just got some other little kind of cooking bits and pieces. Some oil. Oh, this one's got some gum in it. Stock cubes and just other cooking bits and pieces. Chocolate for cappuccinos and cinnamon. Next drawer down is like all of the wraps and cleaning cloths. So we've got wraps, bags, um... A little thing of wipes and just some aprons and cleaning cloths. Ooh, this one is my favorite and it's all of my kind of beverages. So it's got uh, like all different coffees and chocolates, collagen powder, my Naked Harvest, um, moon milks and gorgeous greens, 
uh, some little bubble teas, some collagen coffee sachets, coffee to go tumblers. Um, and that's where I've got to put that other coffee because that's just some backup coffee pods, some coffee syrup, and a refill Milo. Got to be made of Milo. Uh, behind here is where a microwave normally would go. We don't have a microwave at the moment. I have told the kids that I think we will get one so they can have their, I don't know what they make in the microwave, Cheesy Mac or whatever. Uh, so at the moment it's just got things that don't have a home. So there's some random supplements there. I've got a box of Vitables that I have to take and share with you guys, I don't know, at some point through the month. Um, and then some just some leftover containers and then a big canister with Freddy's leftover dog food and a large chopping In this bottom drawer under here I've got all of our plastic and glass storage containers and different sort of bits and pieces Chopping boards down the side here just neatly tucked in and then some glass containers just the strainer plastic lunchbox containers and then just food storage containers the next one across, so this is under the kitchen island. So we've got the microwave, this drawer under the microwave. And in this bank of drawers, we've just got the cutlery. And it's a real bummer. This is stuck in here. Oh, someone's cut something. Um, this is stuck, so you can't take it out, which is horrible because I hate this white plastic thing. And I have like a nice expandable bamboo one, but you can't get it out. They've stuck it down. Um, so that's annoying. And then here I've just got some random bits and pieces. I've got some Hol Halloween candy or lollies left over. And then just random bits and pieces. Next drawer down is where we keep all of our plates and crockery, just like the everyday use stuff. And then the next one down is another one of my favourite drawers. It's where I keep all of my kind of supplements, shakers, um, some protein powders, Shaker cups, the kids' drink bottles are in here. Uh, powders for supplements and then the Nutribullet. And things for making shakes and things. And then over here, which is under the sink, we've just got our big bin in the back that is for recycling. The front one is rubbish. And then the one underneath is just for soft plastics. So we just stick the soft plastics in there. Then when it's full, take it to the recycling at the supermarket. And it's just got some cleaning supplies. I haven't super, super organized this, but it's just, it's good enough for now. And then at the end of the bench, I'm just working on what to put in here. Just the leftover stuff from the set for Christmas decorations. Um, my watering can from Ikea, and then a little cutting that I made from our jade money plant. So it started to, started to sprout, so it is ready for repotting. And I'm just gonna pop that in this little I think I got this from Kmart years and years ago. A uh, little pot. That is a little impromptu kitchen tour. And then here, oh hi, I used to have, well I had for a little while, a wooden shelf as a pantry here. It was just taking up too much space. And then I tried a different option, like a black kitchen trolley, took up too much space. I tried another option of just some tiered shelves from Kmart. Took up too much space and it just wasn't working out enough. So I've just popped back the plant stand from Ikea with the mirror here. And then I've just popped it like all of Freddy's stuff because his bowls are just here for his water, his dry biscuits. And then I just put another one in the middle because he's always got treats on the go that he's sort of half finished. So it's good just to have somewhere to just drop them so they're all like nice and clean and tidy and contained and then we have just got it's so annoying how the premium dry kibble only comes in these massive bulk bags so i've just popped it in these containers and then they've got some little freshness sachets in there as well just to make sure it stays super super fresh and then he's got some little treats I've done like a chloe kardashian thing with his little treats he got those for his birthday actually and he's got a mixture of treats back there so that's just going on there, and then I might just get like a little candle or something to pop here. But that is that, and I'm looking very stylish. I'm still in the clothes that I went 
out for a walk with Freddie this morning and I think it's like about one o'clock now. But I just got kind of stuck in and you know when you just get in that zone, you get in that flow of cleaning and organizing and I just was like, I'm just gonna get this done. So that's that. For dinner tonight, I'm just going to make some like burrito style bowls. I've got some leftover, it's like a spaghetti base, spaghetti mince base. And I'm just reheating that. I'm gonna add in some of these. And that is gonna be super simple. And these ones don't need rinsing because it's got like a salsa style sauce around it. Then we're gonna have that with just some rice, avocado, sour cream, some cheese on top. Just really, really super, super simple Wednesday night. Midweek Mexican, that's what we're calling it. Save this for tomorrow. And that is us done for tonight. It comes back every year just to 